Hey guys, um, I want to clarify what I'm saying about atheism. It's a little tricky. I'm not saying that atheists believe in God. That's, that's, not, that's not what I'm saying. But in order to identify yourself as anti-Guinness, if I was like, I'm anti-Guinness, I don't like it. Or uh, I guess liking something is a little different than believing in it. Uh, so you could say, like, I'm anti-democracy. But in order to be anti-democracy, you have to acknowledge that democracy exists and you are against it. So it's the same thing with atheism. A means anti. It means against, not. So if you're anti-theistic or atheistic, that means you acknowledge that theism is real and you don't like it. You don't believe in it. Now, Tom Thomas made a point, Daxter that you don't, atheists don't believe in anything. And I think that's, that's why you're comfortable saying that you're an atheist, but you obviously believe in atheism if you say you're an atheist. So, so you, you've decided to choose to, to identify yourself as anti-theistic. And in that, you're bringing theism into the equation. It's like a math problem. If, you're, if, if A equals y plus z well let's see let's see if you can write this out as a math equation so you are not theistic so it's like a equals negative one times x <laughs> u equal negative one times theism you in order to be atheistic you have to inquire theism as part of the equation so that's my point i don't i don't believe in god i the, the traditional christian Judaic Muslim God, I don't think that that is real. I think that that's a control mechanism put in place by the Catholic Church by a bunch of old white guys, basically, to make everyone think that there's a higher power that they have to give their power over to. So it ends up being the government that they give their power to, the church. And it keeps people, uh, sheep, slaves, you know, to this idea of something greater than them. When the truth is, you're the greatest. You are God. You are God. And that's why... That's why to say that there's no God is kind of silly because we're like, look what we've done to the earth. Look how we've changed it. Only a God could alter the face of a planet that extremely, right? Like, I mean, that's the power of God. We've totally transformed the entire planet. So in that sense, I think that there is this power that's keeping our bodies going. You know, our heart beats every, because of external energy flowing through our body. That energy is not stupid. It's not accidental. There's something is causing this undulation, and I think that there's like an intelligent formation of, of power that you could call God, or at least identify as God, and I think that's why I get along with religious people, like people that are think of themselves as Christians or, or whatever, Buddhists or whatever, because there is something greater than human, no doubt. Uh, we have five senses. Obviously, there's this sixth, you know, uh, magnetics. You can't explain magnetics with human mathematic equations. Like, that shit's fucking weird. And it gets faster the closer it gets. Like, we try and write out math equations, and then we constantly end up changing them. And it's like, oh, but for 20 years we believed this, and now we have to throw it out. And, and we realize that what we thought for the last 500 years wasn't right. And it's like, that's, that's reality. Eventually we're going to meet God. You know, we're going to... But I'm not atheistic. Because even though I don't believe that there's a man in the sky with a beard that is commanding everything, creating everything on a whim, which you know, there might be. It could be an a some, some alien might have evolved so much that he, ha he or she now has the power to control the universe with you know, sound waves or something. And in that sense, maybe there is a creator. Maybe someone just created everything as we know. Maybe they, maybe they collapsed the entire universe and exploded it in this bang just to see what would happen. And by the entire universe, I mean one of a pocket of the, the multiverse or whatever. But maybe, they, maybe someone caused it, a creature. Maybe, it, maybe a, an intelligent life form caused the collision of the bang. But maybe not. And I don't have any proof either way. So I cannot say I'm an atheist because I have no idea that that didn't happen. And I cannot say that I'm a theist because I have no idea that that happened. None. I have no proof either way. So to identify as an atheist or as a theist is ridiculous because you do not have the proof. On top of that, 
acknowledging atheist just incites theists because you're using the term theism in your definition. I have found that the, the best way to let people know that you don't believe in God is to tell them what you do believe and tell, show them that it's something, what it is, it happens to be other than theism. And then so they see, oh, if that's real, then that other stuff is it. And they, without having to tell them that it's not real, just by believing what you believe, they have to disbelieve the theism. Just by acknowledging that you have godlike power, that we are all God, it undermines the idea of a of a of a some, some external force controlling you. You have free will. I can get up right now. I can sit back down. That's free will. I could have sat here the whole time. I think I proved. I think I've explained what I'm talking about here. So it's like saying, I hate bring, even bringing Donald up. Donald Donnie Trump. Mr. Donnie, I'm not, I don't hate him. I've never hated Donald Trump. I mean, God, when he says he's racist shit, I'm just baffled, but he's kind of a terrible candidate for president. So in one way, I could say I'm anti-Trump, just like I'm a theist. I'm anti-Trump. I don't believe that Trump has any value. But just by saying that I'm anti-Trump, not only am I bringing up Donald Trump, which means that obviously he he's... I can't be anti him without him actually being something. So you see, that's the same point that I make with a theism. You can't be anti theism without acknowledging that theism is something. And just because someone else believes it doesn't mean that you have to acknowledge that it is something. You, you have lots of beliefs that I don't acknowledge and that's okay because as soon as I start to say I'm against your beliefs, I'm acknowledging your beliefs and strengthening them and just causing more. I mean, why do you think theists and atheists fucking butt heads? It's because One's anti the other. If you, if you actually are a theist and you want to create a world where people understand, you just have to do it. But don't go around telling people that you're against them. This is the come down. 